Today's video is going to be a quick one. I was all set to do my Beauty Heroes retrospective, which was what I wanted to have up today, but I had a little bit of a life emergency this weekend. Everything is fine, but basically I just had something that really ate up my time and I also just like don't really have it in me to sit and go through 12 months of products um, today. That is coming up. I have like all the notes. I was like all prepared to do it. And then I was going to hop on Instagram and just take a week off. But I had accumulated a few new things in my life. And I was like, I guess I could just do like a mini Mercedes shop. So you guys would probably be interested in this stuff. Um, so it's quite minimal. This will hopefully be under 10 minutes. But I really wanted to get something up, even if it's sort of raw and not perfect and not really what I had in mind. It is a constant struggle to get over the perfectionism that we bring to our lives, isn't it? So I had like an $11 Sephora gift card went from returning something. I actually returned the Captain Blankenship dry shampoo. I took a picture of it because I'm going to include it in an upcoming products I regret buying video. I have like enough things to do one of those soon. I didn't really like the product and now that I'm using Stark's dry shampoo, which I like, but dry shampoo is just a category of product that I find very difficult to love. I returned the Captain Blankenship dry shampoo and I think it had been over a year, so they only will give you store credit or something. I save all my Sephora receipts, I'm like sort of a crazy person. So I had a credit to use, but I could only use it in store and not online. So I decided to put it towards one of the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage palettes. I really wanted to get the Surratt Beauty Releve mascara. They used to carry Surratt in the Sephora at the Prudential in Boston, but I went in on my lunch break last week and they no longer have shelf space dedicated to Surratt. Like I guess it wasn't selling well enough, which I'm very bummed about. Surratt kind of gives me like NARS vibes. I just, I love the aesthetic. It's sort of slightly more Euro and chic and I just love everything about Surratt. So I've been really wanting to try the Releve mascara. But I had also been wanting to invest in one of the secret camouflage palettes just, you know, to have. It's obviously not eco, but it is a very high performing product, I feel like, in a lot of people's makeup kits, <laughs> professional or enthusiast. I went for uh, SC2. I was really vacillating between SC2 and SC3, but ultimately decided to go with this. I actually did use it this morning to cover a, like a broken capillary on my face, and so far, so good. It's been a product that I was going to buy in the Sephora VIB sale regardless. And then I got one of the Tata Harper resurfacing mask 100 point perks. I'll probably just take this with me over holiday travel or something like that. This mask doesn't like wow me the way other masks do. Masks are one of my like favorite categories of product. Uh, I've tried a lot. I think this gives like a very nice gentle resurfacing effect. Uh, it's like I said, it doesn't blow me out of the water, but I do think it's really quite nice. Ingredients are also obviously good. I feel like my hair has not had time to kind of like chill and settle since I did it. I hate when it looks too like done, you know? Okay, then I had made a very small a beauty order from Neiman Marcus. And the only reason is because I wanted to get a replacement Trish McAvoy Intense Gel Liner Pencil, which was in a previous Empty Products, or I've talked about it recently. I talk about everything recently. I feel like I'm so redundant sometimes in my videos. But um, uh, Nordstrom also carries this, but I was sort of scouring the other brand, beauty brands that Neiman Marcus carries, and they carry Grown Alchemist, which I'll get to in a minute. I did decide to pick up something from them. So that's why I decided to order the Trish product from Neiman Marcus, just based on other brands they carried. And I don't know, Nordstrom beauty brands are sort of... I don't know. I wasn't feeling particularly inspired to pick up anything else. Oh, I forget that these come with... I'm having a really hard time getting into this packaging. These come with a sharpener. I already have one of these, but I guess it's nice that they include that. This is a pretty expensive eye product. It is... I don't know. It's like around $30, but it's like my favorite Trish product that I've tried. Yeah, I don't even, I think it was around 30 or 32 even, but it lasted forever and it is the best, best, best pencil I've ever found for tight lining the upper waterline. It comes with a smudger on one end and then the pencil is on the other. 
comes in four shades. They have like a navy, a brown, and I think an aubergine. The black is perfect. I, this is literally a oh, total Hall of Fame product for me, and I'm very happy to have another one in my life. I don't really use it on a day-to-day -day basis, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday evening, sort of more dramatic makeup, this is like a must. Per my grown alchemist comment, I have been needing a new eye cream. Predominantly for morning, uh, I like using the Lena Hansen balm around my eyes in the evening, but I really needed a good eye cream in the morning. I'm almost done, thank God, with the Tammy Fender Awakening Eye Gel, I think it's called. Initially, I really liked that product. It is also in the products I regret buying, both because of the performance and also because, yes, I admit it, I totally changed my mind about Tammy Fender as a brand when I found out that she was, I'm not sure if she still is, featured at Mar-a-Lago. Just all set with that. No desire to support a brand that has any ties to Trump and his businesses. So I don't know if that's still the case. It certainly was the case. And the product itself just like hasn't wowed me. Maybe my perceptions of the brand have colored my impression of the product, but I just... No, it, it hasn't actually, because Yoroke is another brand that I feel is a Trump or Trump sympathizers, at least they were very early in um, the political administration, and I still really like the Yoroke Feature Volume Conditioner, even though I'm not sure I would purchase it again. So I really don't like the Awakening Eye Gel. Needed a new eye cream, and I went for the Grown Alchemist Age Repair Eye Cream with Tetrapeptide and Centella, I think it's called. Now, when I made my Marie Veronique order, if you'll remember, that was relatively recent, I was thinking about buying their eye serum product, but here's my thing with eye creams. Really dislike them when they're in a like a pipette bottle or a dropper bottle, anything where air is continually getting in and out of the product. I guess I care a little bit less about that as far as face oils because so many face oils come in that format, but I guess particularly for an eye cream and just for ease of use, it for me it really has to be something like a pump dispenser for me to want to invest the money. This was $69 I believe. Couldn't really find like any reviews on it, but I've heard very good things about Grown Alchemist. So I decided to give it a whirl. I'm kind of into peptides and skincare right now, personally. I thought the ingredient deck looked interesting and good, and I'm very excited to try this. There's a little sticker on here that says 128% stimulation of type one collagen clinically tested. Asterix, independent laboratory results. Don't fully know what to make of that, but. Australian brand, made in Australia. The brand generally has very good reviews. I'm curious about their shampoo. They have like four different, three or four different hair types, and I feel like I could fit into all of them at one point or another. So I'm curious to try that. They do also have a heavier duty eye balm for 99 that I was so tempted to get as well because I thought it would be really nice to try the brands like AM and PM slotted eye product but I just have other stuff I can use for a more moisturizing PM eye care product and then Neiman Marcus has good samples I will give them that definitely a cut above the rest so I selected all these into my cart Tom Ford Oud Wood perfume sample is nice I like Maison Francis Kirk de Gion, Paris, Ode Satin Mood. I'm sure I butchered that, which is embarrassing because you know I'm a Francophile. I gave this a a whiff and it, it's very interesting. I kind of like it. Ode Wood combined with Turkish Rose and a touch of Oriental Vanilla in a gentle caress. <laughs> Who writes the copy for that kind of stuff? Amora Vixa Firming Neck Cream. I'm about that life. Kind of want to add the Skin Owl Neck Plus product to my life. Not like I need another product category, but Chanel Le Volume de Chanel Mascara sample. I've never tried this. It totally has a cult-like following. We'll see. And then Patchology Flash Patch 5-Minute Hydrogels Eye Revive. Amazing. You guys know I've been looking to sort of branch out from my Honest Hazel, preferably in more of the green eco space, which I don't think these are, but I'll give these a whirl. One more thing to tell you about, and I bought it last night. I had an amazing afternoon 
with Marissa from Precious Skin Elixirs. We got coffee on Newberry Street. She's just amazing. My friendship with her has really blossomed in the last year and we get together semi-regularly for coffee and we just end up talking about, you know, everything beyond beauty, just life and spirituality and we're very in sync in that way. So it was just such a really, really nice meeting. Marissa, if you're watching. I love you. And I stopped at Credo uh, after our coffee meeting. She had to jet, and so I wanted to go pop into Credo, which there is now one in Boston. I think they did their like soft launch within the last month. I've been to Credo's before in New York and San Francisco. They do carry like a really nice selection of stuff. And I was extremely happy to see that they carry my favorite hand cream of life, the Pi Frangonia and C. Buckthorn Instant Therapy Hand Cream. So I picked one up. This is a $30 hand cream, but it's amazing. They have changed the packaging since the last time I bought it. It used to come in kind of like a round, uh, it's so hard to describe. It's what the Osmia hand creams come in. So this is what it is now. It smells so good, you guys. It looks like this. It just has the most gentle, light, amazing scents. Like I put it on par with how it makes me feel to the Red Flower Arctic Berry Cloud Milk Cream. Crowd Milk Cream. Just super, super nice. I had also been trying the Osmia Vanilla Shea Hand Cream and I, I have to be honest that the scent bothers me. Something in the, the scent of that product bothers me. So I haven't been using it and I really did need a hand cream. So that's it. I told you this would be short and sweet. Still probably over 10 minutes. It's close to 15 minutes that I've been recording, but I'm sure it'll get edited down a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a much longer video up on Patreon right now. It was the October patron exclusive video. A lot of people have been leaving amazing comments, so I'm so glad that it was helpful to you. It's like a 26 minute video on what's in my medicine cabinet. I also sort of delved into more preventive lifestyle things that I do like oil pulling, dry brushing, infrared light therapy, that sort of thing. And I think people really appreciated hearing that kind of stuff. So if you would like to join Lamore and that community on Patreon, I'll, I always have a link down below. And thank you so much to the people that are on Patreon supporting Lamore et La Musique. You guys are my real MVPs every day. Thank you so much. And I will hopefully see all of you next weekend here with my Beauty Heroes retrospective. Enjoy your Sunday and have a great week. Bye.